Rizwana, the Bangladesh Environmental Lawyers Association has waged a long legal campaign to halt the recycling of ships at Chittagong. What have you actually achieved given this industry supports many thousands of jobs? That we have been able to bring the whole issue of unregulated shipwrecking and its consequences to the public. We have been able to create a public opinion uh, around the fact that there needs to be regulation uh, for this industry. And five years down the road, we have actually got some regulations in hand. It's not that we are very happy with the regulations. We ask for more, but at least there is something to begin with. That's number one. Number two is we emphasize more on having regulations uh, regarding this industry. The reason is this, that it employs around 18,000 people. And if the 18,000 people go there to earn a bread, the bread will not come free to them unless the industry actually takes measures to uh, m manage better their waste, dangerous waste like asbestos, PCB and TBTs. So we wanted to make sure that this 18,000 people earn their bread in a safe manner. You told today's Tradewinds Recycling Conference here in Singapore that uh, prime responsibility for investing in Bangladesh's ship recycling industry lies with many stakeholders, essentially those who are making money, cash buyers, recyclers and owners. Why, why not just the recyclers and maybe the Bangladesh government? Bangladesh is a country that has 150 million and most of these 150 million people are poor. So if the government overemphasizes uh, investing money in this industry, which, which employs only 18,000 people, which means that the public money will actually be diverted from other major sources of national economy to this uh, particular sector, which is not a major income earner for the country. The aim is to raise standards at Chittagong. Do, do you applaud the fact those regulations have come in and do you support those regulations? We support the fact that the government has finally started placing some regulations for this industry. We certainly do not endorse the rules that the government uh, has drafted because the rules are... Uh, really short of what we expected uh, them to be like. So we would keep on hammering for having more stringent rules and regulations. But we, of course, uh, would uh, congratulate the government of Bangladesh because it has felt the necessity of regulating the industry and it has started coming up with uh, sets of rules. What evidence have you that the recyclers have not actually improved safety standards? If you see the number of deaths that have uh, taken place in the last two years, that will tell you that the number of deaths are actually on a rise. That clearly suggests that there haven't been significant improvements or no improvements at all. Number two is that the ship uh, yard owners keep their yards closed for outsiders which means that there haven't been significant developments in their years. Had that been the case, they would have definitely been proactive in inviting us all to see the improvements happening. And number three is that many people say that there have been improvements by many shipbreaking yards, but nobody can name a single shipbreaking yard. If you know for sure that a particular shipbreaking yard has done substantial improvement, why not disclose their name? And why not keeping it open for all of us to go and see? According to my understanding, the High Court has not actually lifted the ban on ships coming into the country. Is the implication that maybe the recyclers are in contempt of court at the moment? And the court gave certain conditions uh, fulfilling which they can import ships. One of the conditions remain framing of rules that will be adequate and effective. The rules have been framed all right, but whether they are adequate or effective, that has to be certified by the High Court. The Supreme Court of Bangladesh has sent the case back to the High Court to see whether the rules that have been drafted by the two ministries are compliant with the court directives. Till that certification is given by the court, until the ban is expressly lifted, import of ships, I would say, is continuing uh, in violation of the court order.